Hey guys, what's going on? It is Dog with a Vlog coming to you guys with a brand new video. Today is a seasonal essential, which I haven't done in a minute, as you know. Um, I've wanted to kind of do a video similar to this. I'm pretty late on it, but this is sort of my take on the top five sneakers you're going to need for school or the top five sneakers that are essential for back to school or just for basically any new season or any new new period in your life or just essential to have. Now my video is going to be a little bit different. I've broken down my sneakers into five categories and those categories are the casual, the classic, the flex, the everyday, and then the comfort shoe. So there's five categories and I'm going to basically go through those five categories. I believe you need a shoe of of each category to you know make up a complete sneaker rotation so technically you could get by with just five sneakers in your rotation I'm gonna go ahead and go through that list of five and then name my favorite examples in my collection um, that I use for, for each category so without further ado let's just jump right into it. <laughs> is the casual. Now the casual shoe is a shoe that is just something that you can pretty much wear any every day um, and not really ever have to worry about you know it not looking good. It's something that matches with a lot of outfits that you can wear with a lot of versatile outfits and for me uh, there's nothing in my collection that's more casual than the Air Max 90. Now mine's in the infrared colorway. This is my favorite colorway of the shoe. This was in my top five sneakers of uh, 2016 excuse me, 2015, and it's definitely a classic. One of my all-time favorite shoes, just of all time, is, is in this colorway now. With the Air Max 90, it is such a classic look with, you know, the Air unit, the Nike swoosh, the Nike Air on the back, just such a classic model that has really stood the test of time. Now, this colorway is a little bit loud for, you know, some people with the, with the infrared hits, but they do offer plenty of colorways in grays, whites, blacks, things like that. Um, so definitely just a classic shoe and with, with a ton of versatility options. You know, there's a lot of different materials that they throw on them and a lot of different Air Max silhouettes. And that is my casual shoe, the Air Max 90. The second category is the classic. Now for me, um, I have a lot of shoes that people would consider classics in my collection, but there's one shoe that's really been standing out for me, and that is the Adidas Stan Smith. When it comes to Adidas models, there's really not much more classic than the Stan Smith. They've, these have kind of made a return in the last couple of years with really being kind of a staple in a lot of people's rotations, and so I think it's important to definitely have one as a classic sneaker. Now, of course, you know, there's the superstars. Um, the top tens other adidas silhouettes that are considered classics but to me i think the most classic is the stan smith it's very sleek it's very wearable and it's a shoe that you can really just beat around especially the leather versions the leather looks really good when you beat it up um, you know the prime knits are relatively new and i haven't even worn them yet so definitely a shoe that i'd recommend um, picking up as far as stan smith goes or any adidas model really makes for a good classic especially because they go with so many things and like with the air max 90 you can really dress it up or you can dress it down and it makes just a really good shoe that is kind of going to turn some heads and you know make kind of the people who are, have been into sneakers for a while or who had it when they were growing up say you know what are those or I had those as a kid and that's I think it's a really cool conversation to get into with people but that is the classic the Adidas Stan Smith next up is the flex shoe now for the flex shoe it can be anything that's just a banger shoe that maybe not a lot of people are gonna have you know a good example of this would be some Yeezys maybe some of the classic you know more classic Jordans that haven't come out in a while or some of the classic LeBron's you know the South Beaches the Big Bangs the corks, you know, stuff like that. For me, I just grabbed the only Jordan that was out of the box, and that's going to be the Jordan 5 in the metallic colorway. Now, these were not super hyped. They were readily available. I definitely got mine a week after release. However, I think that as far as Jordans go, it's a really good go-to for a flex shoe because it's something, especially with this model, with that 3M on the tongue, that really high top look, you know, the little shark teeth right here, and that Nike Air, it's really gonna turn a lot of heads when you're walking in. That's the same with any, you know, loud, brightly colored shoe, such as, you know, the Grape Fives, you know, the shoes that are really gonna turn heads, really gonna make people kinda go, oh wow, those are cool, and that's kinda what you want. It's not an everyday shoe, but it's something that you can throw on every once in a while and really set off an outfit if you're going out for a night, or, you know, just want to kind of boss up on the co-workers or classmates this is definitely a good shoe to go to or just a Jordan or a flex shoe like I said for most people it's probably gonna be like a Yeezy or something like that but I've just been taking L's consistently so I went with this one I do have of course more hype Jordans in my collection but 
This was the only one that was out of the box. So that is the Flex shoe, the Air Jordan 5 metallic. Next is just the everyday shoe, a shoe that you can pretty much wear every day with any outfit. It'll never go out of style. It is sort of a classic and you can wear it all the time. And for me, that is the Chuck 2 Converse All-Star. Um, you know, for me, the everyday shoe is something like a Converse, you know, a Adidas Superstar, um, even a Stan Smith maybe, or, you know, a pair of Vans. But for me, it's the Chuck Taylor. I think I like the Chuck 2 more than the Chuck 1, just with the refined materials the thicker material, the Lunalon outsole. They really made something really classic, and this is a shoe that you can really wear and beat up because Chuck Taylors do look great, just beating the hell out of them, letting, letting them yellow, letting the dirt marks stay, letting, you know, just them get beat up. So this is a shoe that you can really literally wear every day. And the thing about the Chuck Taylor or Vans, you can really do a, a diverse amount of looks. You can really do a dressed down, rugged look, or you can do a more dressed up, preppy look with these and it kind of all depends on what your style is. So for me, this is kind of a universal shoe that you can just wear every day and it can really just become a staple because it's something that, that you don't have to worry about keeping clean and that you can continually switch up and sort of make your own um, every time you wear it. The last one is the comfort shoe, you know, the everyday shoe when you're running errands, early morning class, something like that, and you gotta just throw something on. And for me, that's the Adidas Ultra Boost, my number one shoe from last year. These have definitely got the mileage put into them uh, in 2016, just a lot of wear, a lot of dirt stains, stuff like that. But this is the most comfortable shoe in my collection and it's something that if I have to go somewhere, if I have to run somewhere um, and it's a quick trip or I'm going out to eat or something like that or I need to run to the grocery store, this is the shoe that I'm putting on because it's something that I can wear continuously and my feet don't get sore and it's like you're walking on a cloud. I love the Adidas Ultra Boost. I'll always vouch for the Adidas Ultra Boost. However, you know, your, your comfort shoe doesn't have to be an Ultra Boost. It can be a Lunar Lawn shoe, a Hirachi, a Free Run. Um, it could be any shoe that you just find to be comfortable. Um, and for me, you know, there's nothing more comfortable than, than the Ultra Boost. Other than that, that does sum up the five categories of my shoes. And that's really all I have to say. Go ahead and make sure you leave down in the comments below what your five go-tos or your you know, favorite shoes, either from my rotation or from your rotation that you're wearing a lot are, especially in this new fall holiday season, because I would absolutely love to hear about it. Other than that, it's Dog with a Vlog, and I will talk to you guys soon.